Welcome to the World of Webster, a television series that left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers during its run in the early 1980s. As we revisit this classic sitcom, one might ponder, do you hold a cherished memory connected to this beloved show? Perhaps it's the endearing characters or the timeless humor that etched itself into your recollections. Starring the iconic classic Hollywood actor Alex Karras, Webster follows the endearing tale of an adopted young boy navigating the complexities of life and family. Karras, known for his memorable roles, brings a charismatic presence to the series. Who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in Webster? Before we delve into the captivating facts about the show, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Webster. Your stories and memories are valuable, and we would love to hear them in the comments below. Now, let's unveil some intriguing details about Webster that might just surprise you. Did you know that the series was a heartwarming blend of comedy and family dynamics, creating a lasting impact on audiences across generations? As we journey through the fascinating facets of this show, it becomes evident that Webster wasn't merely a sitcom, it was a cultural touchstone. Share your stories, reminisce about your favorite moments, and let the nostalgia flow. Your experiences are an integral part of the Webster legacy. Join the conversation below and let the memories unfold. Webster, the 1983 TV series, unfolds the heartwarming narrative of George Papadopoulos, a former football player, and his wife Catherine, who become unexpected guardians to a young African-American boy, Emmanuel Lewis. Following the tragic death of a close friend, the couple's lives take an unforeseen turn as they navigate the challenges of parenthood with their newly adopted son. George's affable personality and Catherine's nurturing nature form the foundation of this family-centric sitcom, creating a dynamic that resonated with audiences. The show's unique blend of humor, genuine emotions, and life lessons garnered widespread acclaim, offering a fresh perspective on unconventional family dynamics. Iconic characters such as George, Catherine, and the endearing Webster contribute to the show's enduring legacy. With its distinctive style and memorable moments, Webster not only entertained viewers, but also left a lasting impact on popular culture, emphasizing the importance of love and understanding in unconventional family structures. Its influence extends beyond its initial run, solidifying its place as a classic in the realm of family-oriented television. George, the central character in the TV series, was named after Alex Kara's real-life middle name. Interestingly, the show underwent title changes before settling on Webster. Originally named Another Ballgame, it was later titled Then Came You Before Adopting Its Final Name. A curious detail about Webster's character is how he always addressed Catherine Calder Young Papadopoulos as Mom instead of Mom. Writers from the show and Susan Clark, who played Catherine, had differing views on this choice. Clark, initially resentful of the series' concept changes, insisted on the term mom, emphasizing the unconventional dynamics within the show. This behind-the-scenes insight adds a layer of complexity to the family-centric sitcom, showcasing the challenges faced both on and off-screen. The series, with its unique blend of humor and unconventional family dynamics, continues to leave a lasting impact on popular culture, emphasizing love and understanding. Emmanuel Lewis, the young actor who portrayed the character Webster in the 1983 TV series, faced an unexpected and dangerous incident during filming. On a ranch in California, while shooting an episode, Lewis was trampled by a horse. This real-life mishap added an element of peril to the show's production, highlighting the challenges faced by the cast and crew. Interestingly, the age dynamics within the series diverged from reality. While Webster's character aged from five to eight years old on screen, Emmanuel Lewis, in real life, was between the ages of 12 and 17 throughout the show's run. The finale aired just one day after his 18th birthday, underscoring the disparity between the fictional and actual timelines. Adding another layer to the series, Jack Crushin, who played George's father, was only 15 years older than Alex Caras, the actor who portrayed George. This age proximity between the two actors provides insight into the casting decisions and the dynamics of the on-screen family. These behind-the-scenes aspects contribute to the multifaceted nature of the 1983 TV series, offering a glimpse into the challenges faced during production and the creative choices made. 
Emmanuel Lewis on set incident, the age difference between the character and the actor, and the intriguing casting decision with Jack Crushen all contribute to the complexity of the show's narrative. In conclusion, the 1983 TV series Webster not only entertained audiences with its heartwarming family-centric storyline, but also faced real-life challenges that added depth to its production. In response to the rising popularity of different strokes, ABC introduced a family sitcom in 1983 featuring Emmanuel Lewis as the cute African-American kid adopted by a white family. This show, initially titled Another Ball Game, and later then came you before settling on its final name, brought a unique perspective to unconventional family dynamics. The central character, named George after Alex Karras' real-life middle name, navigated parenthood with his wife Catherine, played by Susan Clark. One interesting aspect of the series is the unconventional way Webster addresses Catherine as mom instead of mom. Susan Clark, initially resistant to the show's concept changes, insisted on this term, highlighting the series' distinctive approach to family dynamics. This choice added a layer of complexity to the family-centric sitcom, showcasing challenges faced both on and off-screen. As the series unfolded, unexpected incidents occurred behind the scenes. Emmanuel Lewis, who portrayed Webster, faced a perilous incident during filming when he was trampled by a horse on a California ranch. This real-life mishap shed light on the challenges faced by the cast and crew during production, emphasizing the dynamic nature of the show's creation. Additionally, the age dynamics within the series diverged from reality, with Webster's character aging on screen from 5 to 8 years old, while Emmanuel Lewis was between 12 and 17 in real life throughout the show's run. The age proximity between actors Jack Crushen and Alex Caras, who played George and his father, respectively, provides insight into casting decisions and on-screen family dynamics. In conclusion, the 1983 family sitcom brought a fresh perspective on unconventional family structures with its distinctive style, memorable moments, and real-life challenges. From Susan Clark's insistence on the term mom to Emmanuel Lewis on set incident, the series offered a multifaceted narrative that entertained audiences and left a lasting impact on popular culture. As we close the chapter on our nostalgic journey through the charming world of that beloved 80s TV gem, we invite you to pause and ponder the threads of connection that tie you to the heartwarming tale of Webster. Delve into the recesses of your memory and summon the moments that spark joy, laughter, or perhaps a quiet reflection on the intricacies of life. Whether you found solace in the endearing characters, chuckled at their misadventures, or were moved by the tender life lessons seamlessly woven into each episode, Webster left an indelible mark on the fabric of our collective nostalgia. It's more than just a show, it's a reservoir of shared experiences and a testament to the timeless appeal of storytelling that resonates across generations. Now, with a warm invitation extended to you, we encourage you to share your treasured thoughts and memories. What made Webster more than just a TV series for you? Was it the quirky humor, the poignant life lessons, or the simple joy of escapism it offered? Your stories, reflections, and anecdotes enrich the tapestry of our collective nostalgia. As we bid adieu to this delightful stroll down memory lane, we express our heartfelt gratitude for your time and interest in revisiting the magic of Webster. Your engagement and shared experiences breathe life into the timeless narratives that have shaped our cultural tapestry. Thank you for joining us on this reflective journey, and may your recollections of Webster continue to spark joy and nostalgia for years to come.